Cocaine and ecstasy are just some of the drugs that have been found in marine life in Britain's coastal waters. That's according to scientists at the University of Portsmouth and Brunel University London. We found cocaine in our marine organisms, we found MDMA, uh, we found methamphetamine, and these are in, in crabs, in oysters, in seaweeds, in, in worms that live in the sediment. The ongoing study involves volunteer citizen scientists, swimmers, sailors and windsurfers, who became concerned about the state of the water and by a rising number of reported illnesses in the area. They collected hundreds of samples from Chichester and Langstone harbours that revealed high levels of potentially harmful chemicals. Professor Alex Ford is a marine biologist from the University of Portsmouth. Some of the, the pollution that we have here is from stormwater overflows and sewage. We have historic landfills based all around here which could well be leaking chemicals that we banned many, many decades ago. And we have lots of inputs from, from farming and road runoff as well. In 2021, Southern Water, which is responsible for treating water and sewage in the area, was handed a record fine of £90 million after pleading guilty to thousands of illegal discharges of sewage which polluted rivers and coastal waters in southern England. There is so much waste coming out of it into our seas. Scientists found that traces of drugs and pharmaceuticals make their way into waters after passing through human bodies. Ford says we don't yet know the full effect of drugs on marine life, but adds they could alter some creatures' natural behaviour. So if you cage a fish downstream of a sewage treatment plant, it will start to feminise within a couple of weeks. If you give a crab or a fish antidepressants, it will change its behaviour in very much the way it was designed to change our behaviour if we took that medication.